Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 13, 2021. If you like to support John, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, the last three trading days have been absolutely horrible for the S&P 500. But today, the market got what it wanted, and that was basically inflation and really bad inflation numbers. Uh, whether or not that's going to change anything, uh, I don't think so. Uh, if you look at this, we're just doing the same thing that we have been doing for the last year. So we basically go all the way back over here in the mid April last year when this basically trend started. Um, we haven't broken this trend. We did stop just at the 50 moving average. And I do think that we are going to break the 50 minute gouge. We'll most likely drop towards the 4,000 before recovering. So you'll probably see a day tomorrow where we rally a little bit because we are so significantly outside of the Bollinger Band uh, that we'll probably rally up to a half here, give or take 4,100, and then drop towards the 4,000 before recovering on, on Friday. So... The reason why I think that we're not going to break lower than that is because nothing has really changed. Yes, we have inflation numbers. That's bad news. And that will probably go away in uh, one or two days. Uh, as long as the Fed is keeping its monetary policy, then liquidity will continue to uh, be added to this market. And this market only cares about liquidity. This is a very good buying opportunity. So buying basically the pullbacks. But uh, it doesn't really mean at the moment that we the trend has changed. If we drop to all the way down to the to the 200 moving average and probably break the 200 moving average, then that is something completely different. Then we will probably see something similar to this. But at the moment, we're still in the subtrend, and uh, there's no need of finding this at this current stage. Buying the dip is uh, has been working for a long time, basically a year, and uh, it'll most likely continue if the uh, Fed and U.S. government continues with its physical and monetary policies. Really strange and difficult to, for a market to completely collapse when there's so much support from the government and the Federal Reserve. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that they're all very bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside, and we will most likely see this market continue at least for one and one day or half, uh, continue declining before stabilizing. So uh, if the the 4,000 um, level breaks, then we could see this drop significantly further towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at that Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here, had this really nasty candlestick uh, um, three days ago, and we have fallen towards the, the bottom of the Bollinger Band and are approaching the 50 moving average. So roughly uh, 250 points more to get to the Warsaw 50 moving average. That should offer a massive support. We have occasionally broken below the 50 moving average right here and also here. But the middle of the bullish band has basically been where this has found support for most of the, of the time. If we break the uh, 50 moving average, we could drop towards... Uh, 32,500, and after that, all the way down to the 200 moving average. And then we were looking at something completely different for the market as a whole. If you look at technical indicators, they are all very bearish, so momentum is still to the downside uh, for the Dow Jones. So let's look at the NASDAQ, because all the focus has been on the NASDAQ. So, of course, this market will be the market that gets hammered due to the fact that uh, tech stocks well, really had a really good year in 2020. And uh, 2021, not so good. Basically, we're at 0% um, in 2020. If we basically started over here, and we're kind of at the same point as we started the year. So we did go lower, then went higher, and now we're basically at the same point where we started. So... First of all, we are significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. So pull back at this point, probably up to half of this uh, candlestick could be expected. So 13,200, something like that, before continuing lower. So um, at this point, due to the fact that 13,000 basically broke and we have the 200 moving average right underneath here, 
this is probably going to be the next target. We'll eventually see a pullback at some point, something similar to this or a green candlestick, but 200 moving average looks like where we're heading at this current stage. We do have a upper trend line here, which we technically are testing right now. We're basically on the edge of this, and we have no pullback at the end of the session. And that, that kind of looks like we are going to drop below this uh, pre this uh, support line and head towards the 200 moving average. And that is probably as far as this will go. So that's another drop off, give or take three to 5% to the downside before this recovers. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. Uh, MACD is bearish, the CASIC is bearish, CCI is bearish. We're on the edge of being overbought in the NASDAQ. So, um, but something really interesting, even though expectations here are that inflation will cause the Fed to increase interest rates, which is not on the table at the moment, nothing really happened in the 10-year yields. So if um, expectations for interest rates are going to, are basically, our, our expectations are that the interest rates are going to increase, then we should see the yields increasing substantially more than they did today. So people are not buying into that at the moment, but things can change. If the 200 moving average basically breaks, then we're looking at a massive drop to the downside. So let's look at the German DAX. So the European market had, was a much more stable day, even though we have broken down from the previous highs and we're heading towards the, the bottom of the bullish band. We have not seen those kinds of moves, the daily moves that we saw in the US market today. So we are at the bottom of the bullish band and the 50 moving average, and that should be support at this current stage. If we break below the 50, we could head towards the 14,000 and 200 moving average, but um, then we should see something really drastic happen in this market. Technical leaders are fairly bearish at this point, so momentum is still to the downside. So we may see continuation of this testing of the 50 moving average, probably a little bit underneath, and then continue rallying. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100 did really well today, uh, mainly due to the fact that uh, that GDP numbers and basically the uh, economic data from uh, from Great Britain was uh, was really good. So we did rally up towards uh, 7,222 and then gave most of those gains back. We're probably going to head towards the bottom of the bullish band before continuing to the upside. This will most likely be affected by by the drawback of other indices and so on, but uh, we'll probably, but this will most likely be the bottom of this market. So 6,850, give or take, uh, before rallying towards the 7,700, 7,000 and 7,500. Technical indicators are looking fairly bearish. So, um, Yes, that is most likely what is going to happen after we basically pull back and ended underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 did rally in the beginning of the session uh, up towards 20 exponential and then gave most all of those gains back technically. Technically are, well, uh, fairly, uh, what you can say, MACD is flat, as flat as you can get. And... Uh, Stochastic is bullish, as RSI, as CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is basically flat at this point. So for this market, we need a break above the 50 or a complete break below these previous lows here in order to determine that we are going lower. Trading this at the moment is just a complete gamble. So, so we need a clear signal where this technically is going at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.